Eugene Behrman, Israel Adesanya's coach, is out of his goddamn mind. All right, and I'm if I'm going to tell you everything that you kind of need to know about this, and I'm going to hit the points hard here, and let's get rolling. So, Drinkus Duplessis basically is injured. He fought Robert Whitaker injured. He's supposed to be. He was supposed to fight Israel Adesanya in September. They were hoping for a quick turnaround from either Whitaker or Drakus Duplessis, whoever won, and. Obviously, we all know why they were doing that. They wanted someone, they wanted an easy win for Israel Adesanya to continue to build this superstar in Israel Adesanya, right? They wanted favorable matchups. He was, Israel Adesanya never wanted to fight Drakus Duplessis. Let's get that out of the way. All right, I know a lot of people are going to sit here and say, oh, yeah, he did. He built the narrative. His team did not think that Drakus Duplessis was going to beat Robert Whitaker. They were trying to make it seem as if, ooh, let's root for Drakus Duplessis because we, you know, ooh, we don't want to fight Robert Whitaker again because it's the third fight. How many times has Israel Adesanya said, I don't want to, I don't want to fight the same guy three times in a row? What Eugene Behrman in his interviews has been saying is absolutely disgraceful. It's disgraceful. To be honest with you, if I were Israel Adesanya, I'd be calling him saying, dude, shut up, stop doing interviews. Because he is contradicting the hell out of himself, and he's kind of embarrassing himself as well, and just the camp in general. Listen, Israel Adesanya is a great champ. He's a great champ, and he's a great fighter. But we can't deny the fact that they were trying to get Drakus at, at, at half of his ca uh, capabilities in, in September. There's, they were hoping that Drakus, if he did get a win, was going to be all battered from going through a war with Robert Whitaker, then was going to have to turn around and fight Israel Adesanya in Australia in September. Well, wait a minute. So if we sit there and we think about that, he gets done the win, goes back home, then gets then heads right back into fight camp, then has to head out probably two weeks in advance before the fight to get used to the Australia, all this and that. So that's not that's not a ton of time to prepare for a world championship fight. And then Eugene Behrman's out here saying, oh, well, Drakus is not, he's probably going to have to fight another fight in order to get his shot. He missed his chance. Bullshit. That's the biggest fight at 185 pounds. That's the biggest fight at 185 pounds. And you guys pick Strickland. So you're telling me Sean Strickland deserves the shot more than Drakus Duplessis deserves the shot? I understand Strickland, you know, he won his last fight and this and that. Sean Strickland, he, Robert Whitaker was the number one. He was basically the Max Holloway of 185 pounds. Nobody could beat him other than Israel Adesanya, and Drakus went out there and finished him in the second round. Israel beat him the first time, but in the second time, it was a very close fight. Drakus got the job done, and nobody thought Drakus was going to get the job done, and Israel's like, oh, I manifested this. He didn't manifest anything. He was just sitting there hoping like, ah, I don't want to fight Robert Whitaker a third time, but I am going to build this up because, oh, I'm picking Drakus Duplessis, and if Robert Whitaker, you know, if I have to fight him again, then whatever. It's in Australia. Do I think that he really wanted to fight Drakus? Should I maybe say, yeah, maybe he did because it's new blood and Israel Adesanya is a competitor. But I can tell you this right now. Maybe Israel wanted to fight him. Eugene Behrman, Adesanya's coach, wants zero parts of Drakus Duplessis because if you listen to the interviews when this guy talks, if you bring up Hamza Chimaev, he got so mad at, at Submission Radio for bringing up Hamza. You bring up Drakus, he gets so irritated. Oh, no, he doesn't He doesn't deserve a shot, blah, blah, blah. But then he's going to sit over here and praise Sean Strickland after all the times they used to punk Sean Strickland and say how embarrassing his striking is, how, oh, my God, yeah, P Pereira's going to knock him out because, you know, he thinks he can stand and strike with these guys guys, but he can't. He's got this iCarly style and this and that. They're contra he's contradicting himself. He's saying that the, the world championship title at 185 pounds in the UFC is prestigious. It's got this long lineage of, you know, because Anderson Silva and Israel Adesanya. You're embarrassing 185 pounds, Eugene Behrman. This isn't necessarily me coming at Israel Adesanya. This is for Eugene Behrman because this is a guy that at, for a while I was saying is almost like the Bill Belichick of MMA. This guy's got a hell of a team out there at City Kickboxing, but seems like maybe the ego's getting the best of him or he's trying to make headlines. I don't know. But every time you bring up a stylistic matchup that could be a problem for Israel Adesanya, he gets pissed. You bring up Hamza Shemaev, no, 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 he doesn't deserve it. He's never even fought at 185 pounds. But then he says the UFC's a business, right? Wasn't well, that a business decision? Because Hamza Shemaev is one of the biggest stars in the UFC right now. Look at his social media. It's popping. Look at his YouTube. That's how we determine star power, right? So how can you say that that doesn't make sense? You're over here saying business makes sense, right? 
So that makes business sense, Eugene Behrman. And then also you say, Drakus doesn't make sense. Well, doesn't that make, huh? Well, doesn't that make sense? Because Adesanya went in there after his win and in the cage and built up this whole Africa, you know, um, Adesanya versus Duplicy heritage thing. Yeah, he did. So that's absolutely the bigger fight. And to sit there and say, oh, well, Drakus isn't getting another shot because he had his opportunity and we fight hurt. So whatever. The guy was hurt and still went in there and fought Robert Whitaker and still did what he did. And I thought, you know, to be a champ and sit there and say, we want to be the best. Don't you want to fight people at their best? Don't you want to fight people at their best? You don't want excuses. You don't want this and that. Oh, well, Israel's fought when he's hurt. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it couldn't have been anything too compromising because his performances have all been pretty good and he's been moving around and running away in, in a lot of his fights pretty well, right? So what injury did we really see? And I know fighters step in there and they're hurt and they're banged up and this and that. And I got all that. But so wait a minute. So we're sitting here and we're saying Adesanya fought hurt. Everyone that usually fights is banged up in some sort of manner, right? There's usually some sort of injury coming in. But if there's an injury that's that brutal that you're just not going to be yourself in there, why are you trying to force it? Why are you trying to force it? You got your matchup with Strickland. You got your so-called easy win with Strickland, even though I do think Israel Adesanya will probably dismantle Sean Strickland. We can't just sit here and act like, I mean, this just doesn't make any sense, Eugene Behrman. It doesn't make any sense. You're contradicting yourself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Israel Adesanya probably agrees with what you're even saying in these interviews. So this isn't me coming after Izzy. This is me coming after Eugene Behrman because he's contradicting himself. And he's sitting there saying that guys don't deserve title shots when they absolute. There's nobody else at 185. I get Strickland stepping in right now. There's nobody else at 185 that deserves the shot other than Drakus Duplicy. Nobody. It's the biggest fight at 185. Even with Chemaev, I still think the Dr the Drakus fight is bigger because of the whole narrative that they built up, this whole t uh, storyline that they built up. What do you all think? Like, subscribe, comment below. See you in the next one.